In this video I'm going to show you how to do integration and differentiation using your Casio FX991 ES Plus. And once you learn how to do this you'll find these modes to be extremely useful. But you must make sure you're doing them properly so we'll start by looking at some key points so you understand what's actually going on and then we'll do some examples. So the most important point is that you must work in radians otherwise you will get the wrong answer. So ensure that your calculator is set to radians. So you probably know how to do this, you're pressing shift mode that takes you to the setup menu and then pressing 4 and your calculator is in radians. And you have to th think for yourself, you have to know the theory and what's going on otherwise you may end up with the wrong answer. A good example of this is where you have an integral like this. So you've got some of it above the x-axis and some of it below. So when you do this integration you're going to get zero or very close to zero which is not the result that you're looking for. So instead of um, doing just integrating from a to c of the function which would be the temptation you have to split it into two integrals so you're doing a to b and then adding the negative of b to c. b to c will be negative so putting a negative in front here makes it positive. So you've got to get this area plus this area as if it was positive and that will give you the right answer. Very briefly we'll look at some technical points. Um, it's not good for very complicated functions. You would have to split it into a very large number of integrals so you, the better doing that with something like MATLAB or numerical um, methods. The um, integration and differentiation functions work numerically only, they don't do it symbolically, so it won't tell you that the derivative of x squared is 2x, it will just calculate it and give you a number like 5. Um, the integration uses this Gauss method and differentiation uses the central difference method. And you should also make sure that you're in natural display mode, which if you don't know what that is, you're probably already in the mode. But just for completeness, to get into it, you're going to press Shift, Setup, and then 1, and then 1 again, and you're in that mode. So let's do some ex examples now. So Comp Mode, Natural Display, we've just made sure we're in Natural Display, and we're in Comp, which is just Mode 1. So this is the normal mode that your calculator will be in. So if nothing is lit up along here, you're in that mode. So the first example... Just a very simple one, integrating between 0 and 1 to x. <coughs> so the integrate button is here, and you just use the arrow keys to move around. So 0 and 1, and then we need, um, here we need 2, then alpha followed by x equals, and that gives us 1. You can, of course, put the 2 outside. That works in just the same way as so, that's worth noting. Say we want to do the integral between 0 and 180 degrees of sine x. Remember I said that you must be in the radians mode. So you'll be doing the integral from 0 up to pi, which is annoyingly located right down the bottom. You have to press shift. And then we want to put in sine, alpha, and then x. Close the brackets equals and it takes a minute to do it um, and that gives us two. There is a way to speed up the computation by lowering the accuracy and we'll look at that in a minute. Di <coughs> differentiation works in exactly the same way. I'm just using the differentiation function so if we've got <coughs> y equals 2x squared plus 1 we'll find that at x equals 1. <coughs> the differentiation function only finds derivatives at a point. As I said, it only does things numerically, not symbolically. So we've got the, so the dy dx here. So in here we put our function, which is 2 uh, alpha x squared plus 1. We want x equals 5, so put that in, and we get 20. The last thing we'll look at is just another way of doing this slightly more advanced which is to use the linear display so to get into linear display you're pressing shift mode and then 2 
and this lets you enter the integrals in a slightly different way. So this is the format you're doing. f of x, your bottom of your integral a, then b, which will be at the top of the integral here, and then you can specify the tolerance. And the tolerance is up to 1 times 10 to the minus 14. So you would put in an integral, something like integral of 2 alpha x. You want to access the comma, which is shift, and then the closed brackets, and we want 0 and say shift, close brackets 1, shift, close brackets, and we'll just put the tolerance down to the smallest, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 14, close the brackets, press equals, and we get 1 as expected. So there's an overview of the calculus functions on your calculator. Hopefully this is helpful, and thank you.